powers locked within you. But there is a great well of possibility still untapped. You, you cannot stop until Apparently you skip something divine. Want to become the next Lucian? Um, who will teach me what I need to he learn? Opens his mouth to respond, but stops and tilts his head, listening for something you cannot detect. I hear the void. I hear it calling. I hear it laughing. It, it's coming. It's here. If it finds you here, if it finds you. Ralik's face twists in fear. He opens his mouth as if to scream, but no sound comes out. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through you like a curse, and then... No, I wanted to save the other ones. No, I wanted to save the other ones. Damn it. What's happened here? Where is everyone? Why is my squirrel dead? It's creepy. The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiled, strung up as a warning. Wood has been pushed back before with the power of the mortals. The gods couldn't handle it, but maybe we I can. I had dreams of what I should say if I saw the seven lords once more. But that, that was a nightmare. What can yet be blessed can yet be restored. One way or another, divinity will survive through all of you and all of me. Gods, schmods, they aren't interested in me and I'm not interested in them. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful Camera. than any of them anyway, or at least more cunning. Hold on a minute. Camera disconnected or something. That's annoying. I just realized that. That's cool. Alright. I don't know how long that's not been working. Hopefully it hasn't been off for too, too long. <laughs> that makes me wonder. Hold on, let me check something. God. Oh. Freaking camera turned off. Of course. When that happens. Or when that disconnects. Apparently all my USBs disconnect. So dumb. I don't understand why it does that, but it sure certainly seems to happen every time. Hello? And the camera's frozen again. This is ridiculous. I just cannot catch a break. Oh my god, what the f- is going on today? I don't understand. Why are there six of those running? And why is it running in 32 bits? So confusing. Will you please run? Thank you. Alright, key stuff loaded again. Alright, back. Jeez. Okay. Uh, squirrel. It's still there, Quercus. Uh. Do you think it'll ever leave us in peace? I don't understand. Weird squirrel thing. Should I talk to the ship? Should I go find Malady? Oh, 
not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, let's turn off that move from Fane because it's not useful at all. And we'll turn off Necromancy as well. Uh, it's down one more, right? Loose plank. We're going to check that out. Um, oh, his necromancer is from the gear. Okay. I can accept that. Check out this loose blank. Got dead people everywhere. Snap. All the other companions get killed. Whoa. Where'd Dallas go? What about the dude that's in here? Hey, Doggo. Dude is gone. There's a letter. Did you leave us a letter? No. Okay. Um, that dude disappeared. We have dead friends. So, that squirrel that's following us, does that mean he could have been our friend? People are going to die and I can't stop it. She'll do it now. She'll never stop. She'll never stop. The Red Prince's spirit stands bewildered. His spectral eyes beleaguered by disbelief. Defeat? I have been defeated. Impossible. Impossible. He's been defeated and then some. No, such is but a different truth. Even here I hear the voices of destiny whisper, I will have my empire yet. I will have my empire yet. Okay. That Bane. You gotta follow us, buddy. Alright, let's come in here. See what this is about. Oh, there's more people in here. I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. Where are you? There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt a lot. Ow. This might hurt a lot. <laughs> so that's why it warned us that, uh, we ne may not be able to choose companions again. Clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. The Godwoken were alive, but what of the gods? Oh, I, I opened the, uh, camera stuff, but I forgot to check it out. Whoops. Open. Make sure that this thing is not on. It's not, so it should not have restarted. It's amazing. Oh, well, growing pains. We'll learn it. New music. Solid ground materializes beneath your feet. Your weight falls back into your body all at once, and bright sunlight stings your eyes. All right, let me see if other things actually sort of fix themselves. Highly doubt it. 
still didn't. That's cool. There must be something broken in uh, the Streamlabs grips. Some these buttons are not working anymore. I don't know why. Very upsetting. Maybe I gotta... Because Restream said I needed to rebind a weird token. Which is weird, because the other ones didn't. It's making zero sense, I don't understand. As your eyes adjust, you realize you're still aboard the Lady Vengeance. A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine prickles your skin. <laughs> I read that as pickles my skin. Oh, one moment, please. Oh, just a moment. Ew. The melody explodes in a fit of retching that racks her body. Ew. Last, you just threw up sores. She sneezes and expels a glob of something shiny and silver onto the deck. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. A glob of something shiny and silver. So she sneezed up a worm and a source puddle. <sighs> Better let's not do that again anytime soon. Hmm? That's an easy deal. Or what's well, that's what happened back there. Escape, didn't we? So I took us the one place I was quite certain Dallas couldn't follow. I suppose you recognize the Hall of Echoes from those visions you'd had before. Realm of the Dead, Realm of Divinity. I do hope you learned something useful on our little field trip. The cat is still following us though. Does God seem desperate? Yeah, God seemed desperate. desperate how? So you answer a few questions of mine. Oh, fine. One spooky magic, two only half a demon actually. My mother was a bitter elf named Loda. Three just a bit of leftover effluvia from the spell. Four more than I can count. Five something too horrible to mention by the light of day. I love her. And now that I've answered every question a sane person would conceive <laughs> to ask of me in this moment, let's carry on. What did you see? I'll describe I it to her. See. I probably shouldn't trust her. So your god seemed uncharacteristically frightened, told you the void was coming, and that only you could ascend to divinity, after which you felt a cold deep within you. Well then... It sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? And quickly. She inspects her fingernails with great attention, then looks up at you from under an arched eyebrow. Did they mention how you were meant to become the next divine? I'll figure oh, it out. What confidence you inspire. Luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. I may not know much about divinity, it's, but I do know damn it. that any god woken worth their considering double clicks to perform all these hoes of fantastic feats. You need to go see the Meister. Where can I find him? Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood, you know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it. Home, that's it. She's got a home in Driftwood. <laughs> Give me your map. There you are. Tell her I sent you and she'll handle the rest. You're at the beginning of a long journey, Godwoken. Long, but exceedingly interesting. Now, I must be going, and so must you. Where are you up to? Shopping. Why, How do we get ashore? A little sloop, of course. We can all ride together. Won't that be terribly fun? Before you go, if I'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next, you can call me back here. Tell the ship she'll know how to summon me. And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become, you could call me, but I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. I just summon her? That'd be kind of cool.
All right, let's talk to our friends. It's rather impressive that a place named Reaper's Coast is even less cheerful than it sounds. Then again, I suppose desolate, boring, and covered in fish heads coast doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Still, here we are. I trust I needn't remind you about our agreement. I haven't forgotten. Good. It is of the utmost importance that I reach the Black Pits and access the dig site there. Once that is understood, I am quite content. Lead on, oh adequate. Mm -mm. Slurp that up. Hey, before we dash Sabiel off, Sabiel didn't want to talk to me. Yonder, I should mention, Malady and I had a talk on the way here. Are you all right? All right. Oh, <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. It's just Malady mentioned a thing in my head's probably a demon, and that there's someone close to where we're headed who might be able to help me with it. Oh, heck yeah, let's help you. Great news is as close as she's been to having answers. I know, it's great, exciting, terrifying. A heady mixture of all three that makes my stomach feel like it's in a vice. We better get a move on. You've got your business to handle, and now I've got mine. Cool. Sabiel doesn't care about anything, Speak. huh? What the next move should be. Didn't you hear Melody? We're off to oh. as such. My first priority remains to find Roost. He is the pawn that will eventually topple the king. I want to know how she managed to escape. Huh. A tale of cloaks and daggers and daredevilry. Are you up for it? I'd love Wonderful. to hear it. She bows with thespian flair. Imagine a black room. It's been your room for years. You know it by touch more than sight, for it's always dark. And when I say always dark, I mean always dark. You're either in the room or in the box, for it's in the box that you travel. You're only let out at night, because you only hunt in the night, with the master's voice in your ears urging you on. And after it's done, you lie down in the box once more, with wet hands and mad red thoughts. <sighs> Yeah, how are you still saying? Sometimes it's best to let sleeping questions lie. The thing is, the box didn't break me. Though I confess, it taught me to hate. One night, I killed a scholar. With my needle through his fragile old skull, he fell headfirst upon his writing desk. Blood mingling with spilt ink. It's when I saw the ink that timid thoughts of rebellion first bloomed. Back in my dark room, I dipped my needle that killed the scholar in his own ink and engraved his name in my skin. I'd remember him. I'd honor him with vengeance. His name was the first, but many more followed. Can you see the name? She bears her left arm and shows you the name. You softly run your finger across it. Nindaran. He was Turishar, a keeper of stories. Hm. I'm sure he was loved by many. People like him, the beloved dead. They kept me going. And I can't pop my neck. Then, one day, it happened. A gush of wind. A sliver of light. Light! I hardly knew it for what it was. A simple oversight that comes with habit. A door, left slightly ajar, that was all I needed to feel a rush of blood, a thirst for liberation like never before. I tore at the shackles that kept me chained to the floor, iron thick as a smith's wrists. Of course they wouldn't budge, they never did before. But now, now that I saw the light, something welled up inside me, a raw and undeniable burst of power. The shackles broke, and next thing I knew, I was free. I stood alone outside the ruins of a fortress, snow-capped peaks all around me but the sun oh the sun i had risen as if from the grave 
and she kissed me back to life.